into U.S. universities and colleges because they are not really seen as international students and judged against their cohorts of international students, which generally have very low acceptance rates and so the highest uh, and the best universities in the U.S. Uh, it additionally allows them to pursue career opportunities anywhere in the U.S., both during their studies and afterwards. So this eliminates the need for the H-1B work permit. The H-1B work permit, as I'm sure you all have, have read about or probably know potentially firsthand as well, has become harder and harder to get over the last few years. And it's causing not only stress for the students that, you know, spend all this time time and effort studying in the US for four years and then realize they're having difficulty being able to get a work opportunity and being able to stay in the US simply because they cannot get sponsorship. Um, so, you know, holding a green card eliminates this, it eliminates the stress for the child and for the parents uh, in being able to not only work anywhere to be able to change jobs more easily and to really be able to achieve the full salary potential and growth um, potential that there is within their career within the US. Just a few quick details on the EB-5 program. So the EB-5 program allows investors to secure a US green card with approximately, within approximately two years. Um, this is done through a 900,000 US dollar investment that's returned to the investor within five to seven years. So it's not a cost of $900,000. That is an investment that is returned after five to seven years. The cost of this is, well, one is the opportunity cost of investing in a very low return project in the US. Uh, and then there are fees to the US government, to lawyers and to firms like ourselves that would help um, to source these projects and to make sure that we are acting on behalf of the investor to secure the green card and to secure their investment coming back. An investor can apply for themselves, their spouse, and any children that's up to the age of 21. Alternately, you can put an application directly in the name of a child um, to avoid the tax implications if there's not an interest in the parents physically moving to the US. Um, green card holders also are, are eligible for applying for citizenship after five years, if that's of interest to anybody that's, that's there. And you know, we do see this occasionally from people that would like to go there, build their careers there, uh, and potentially have access to a stronger passport going forward. So, um, you know, last year I mentioned that we expanded our services. So now we're looking at additional visas in the US as well as other uh, residency programs. So the E2 visa is something that we've just started to offer. This is more of an entrepreneur's visa to the US. Um, so the U.S. offers visas to investors from countries that hold a specific E2 treaty with the U.S. It's a quicker, faster route to the U.S., and it's ideal for people that want to start or manage their own business there. Applications take anywhere from three to six months to process, as opposed to approximately two years for the EB-5. Um, and it's an investment amount of $150,000 U.S. dollars, which is obviously substantially lower than the EB-5. Um, this investment is an investment into a business that's already existing or a new business. So it's not um, something that you're guaranteed to get back, but it's an investment to build up a business, which is what the E2 visa does. It is for the management of a business or a franchise in the US. This is quite different than the EB-5 visa because it's not a green card. This is not um, a permanent residency and it's tied to a specific business that is up and running. It can be for an investor, a spouse, and any unmarried children up until the age of 21. So since there are some countries such as India that don't have an E2 treaty with the US, so those um, nationals cannot easily get an E2 visa, obviously, LCR has started to also offer the opportunity to invest in citizenship in the Caribbean, which enables the route to the E2. So we've started offering Grenada citizenship by investment program as well. And Grenada located in the Caribbean, it offers um, investment opportunities for citizenship through a 220,000 US dollar investment uh, in a government approved project. So this can be for an investor, um, the entire family as well, including spouse, any dependents up until the age of 30, unmarried siblings and parents that are dependents as well. And this would be translated into a passport within three to four months of the investment period. Um, 
The Grenadian passport offers visa-free travel to over 140 countries, uh, including the UK, Europe's Schengen zone, and China. So we do see an interest, um, one, for the passport itself, because it is quite a strong passport, but we've also seen it much more um, in terms of allowing a route to the E2 visa, because through an investment of 220000 in Grenada, plus 150,000 in the US, within, a, within less than one year, an investor can go to the US to start or, or manage a business, which is a much quicker, cheaper, faster route to the US than the EB-5 program. Um, the last couple of years, we've also seen a lot more interest for European residency programs. So um, we'll speak a little bit about the Portugal Golden Visa, which we're also offering now. There's been a lot of interest um, in European residency and Portugal is one of the most reliable transparent programs that, that Europe um, that, that there is in Europe that allows investors to either purchase property or invest in rehabilitation of real estate. Um, there's multiple options for investment at much lower price point than the US. So this could be you know, interesting for people that are looking to purchase uh, a flat elsewhere um, and gain potential residency benefits from it. Purchasing real estate in, in Portugal would be a 500,000 euro minimum investment, but you have the property at the end of the day, which is quite different than the US when you're investing in a project that you don't own. Um, so depending on obviously the real estate, you could have a high yielding asset that comes back to you that you can sell after a few years after maintaining your residency requirements there. There's also lower price point options, which is investing in the rehabilitation of real estate projects in, in Portugal. And those come at either 280,000 euro or 350,000 euro uh, price point. These are backed by guarantees for return after five years and annual returns, depending on the project that's invested in. Um, so one of the reasons we've seen Portugal being so uh, interesting is because of the low residency requirements, lower price points, and allowing people to be able to travel across Europe freely and potentially accessing also Portuguese citizenship. So as I've mentioned, you know, we've We've developed these, these products and, and obviously this is not a hard sell. This is something that you know, we need to work with uh, trusted advisors such as yourselves to be able to really show this to clients that could be interested in it. It's something that again, will address a need for either children that would like to go to the US that are having difficulty staying there and studying or people that are just interested in having um, the benefit that a residency or a passport can provide them in other parts of the world. So thank you guys again very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. Thank you, Nikki. Thanks for your detailed uh, explanation and uh, the presentation. And now I think work from USA, now we come to work from home and work from office. So now, where is Mr. Lal? I'll hand over to the moderator of today's event, Mr. Lal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kala. Happy New Year to everyone. And thank you so much, Ms. Nikki, for a, such a detailed presentation. I was not aware about so many different visa categories uh, that you can apply for US and for Europe. So thank you very much for this detailed uh, orientation that you gave it to us. Coming to today's evening, work from home versus work from office, a battle to choose which amongst this is the best. To have this, it's a, one of the unique debate that we're having for the first time in the ICI Singapore chapter. It's been led on the topic of work from office by Ekta Gupta and for work from home is against Himanshu. Shu. The judges, the esteemed judges for today are Mr. Krishnamachari and Mr. Ramki. Let me just introduce you, the wonderful team. I see some of the team members already wearing the hats of the work from home because they are in the home. So the work from home team, which is led by Mr. Himanshu Parikh, has Mr. Somnath, Ms. Oh. Saloni, Ms. Menakshi, Anurag Gupta, Ms. Shweta, and Ms. Anubha Jain. Oh. Followed by the work from home, work from office team, the work from office team, which is led by Ms. Ekta Gupta has the following team members, 
मिस श्री विद्या मिस अनु मिस चित्रा मिस्टर विशाल मिस्टर कुशाल एंड मिस्टर ज्वालंत just to lay down a few ground rules first of all welcome all welcome to the team members welcome to the the team led by ekta and by himanshu to and to our judges mr krishnamachari and mr ramki some of the pointers some of the team rules the ground rules that we want to set here are as follows each team member representing either work from office or work from home will be allowed and be given a time limit of 2 minutes we will start with ekta gupta your team and your team one member from your team will be given an opportunity to come forward and put across their points for 2 minutes the team leader so in your case ms ekta and mr himanshu will interact with the respective team on the you know the points to be discussed and nominate a person who needs to speak all the members are to be given opportunity if uh, the decision is with the team leader of course to decide who has to do it the moderator who sitting here will be monitoring time the 2 minutes time limit will be applicable to everyone and we i will be stopping uh, the speaker please do stop when i call out to stop so that uh, we are following the time limits and make sure you present well within those 2 minutes i will give you an indicator 30 seconds before your time comes to an end so that you know you have last 30 seconds left to wrap up your golden points that you might have team leader at the end can consolidate the comments at the end of the debate so at the end of the entire debate you can consolidate all their comments kind of a summary the conclusion will be by the judges any decision any arguments anything whatever the judges decide mr ramki and mr krishnamachari would be the final thing on our agenda today one simple reminder to everyone while we talk about work from home work from office let's be mindful we should not be talking anything which is related to politics or religion let's try and avoid these two topics in our debate every team will be given i repeat two minutes there will be two rounds the first round will be given and started by ms ekta gupta at the end of 2 minutes we'll hand over the session to mr himanshu and his team and again we'll have another opportunity for one of the team members from ms ekta to talk about 2 minutes ending by mr himanshu ski are we clear on the rules are we clear on the agenda is there any question from anyone yeah good great anyone else mr himanshu can i get your confirmation Yes. Perfect. Can I oh, get sorry. the judges, Mr. Krishna Macharya and Mr. Ramki? Are you okay, sir? Yes, we are. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. So let's begin, guys. Yes, all set. The first debate of 2021: Work from office versus work from home. And the first opportunity goes to Miss Ekta Gupta. Uh, would you like to nominate one of the speakers from your team to start the debate? and first nominate the person i'll call the person upon the street and when i say start and then only the person will be allowed to start so that i can monitor the time here uh, i think i'll just take it up the opportunity to uh, pick it and then the team will be joining me as uh, uh, we follows perfect leading by the example ms ekta and are you ready yep are the judges ready mr krishnamachari and mr ramki yeah are the audience ready Yes. <laughs> okay here I have just to show you on the screen I have a timer set here for 2 minutes I'm just going to start the start button Miss Ekta at the last 30 seconds I will give you a reminder and then we will wrap it up exactly at 2 minutes on the count of 3 1 2 3 and go Yeah thanks Saichi I chapter for holding this important topic as a part of the debate and I'm sure that everyone past 12 months have gone through this and this is something which we'll be able to relate and resonate to if we just start with the you know the uh, great so uh, scholar aristotle as he said that you know every man is a nature by nature a social animal and again society is something that precedes individual so goes with the office so office is just not an infrastructure which is being provided but it is a place where people come and collaborate together to a common objective of the goal which an organization is looking to achieve for a larger purpose now again if we look up right when we were discussing with among our team members few important points which really were hitting us 
was not being able to meet with the people not being able to collaborate not being able to you know see each other and actually understand that what their person in front is going through this is not something which we only felt when we really did a deep dive into the research around it we came up that there were various surveys which were done and one of them which was done in us which actually stated that only 12% of the users were actually willing to work from home and they and the rest really wanted to go back to the office and out of them the 74% of them actually said that the colleagues and coworkers are the reason why they go back to want to go back to the office they feel that 55% of them are still finding it very very difficult to you know communicate and collaborate with the coworkers and uh, colleagues there on if we look at it is not only the formal discussions which actually which happens in the office but it's more about the impromptu discussions which happen and a lot of times the Final collaboration 30 seconds a lot of times the collaboration actually helps in a much better way in a much distracted way in a much productive manner so just if we look at you know the challenges which uh, we are going to discuss further by which my team members are going to cover it up is with respect to the applicability whether this topic actually resonates with everyone or are we looking into a very very small segment of the society and taking this discussion up we are looking to towards the discipline environment where we really want to work how productive are we when we are working from home versus working from office and what is the work life balance and the time management will look up yeah thank you thank you so much ms ekta i completely agree you brought out some of the greatest points on working from office indeed every human is a social animal and yes there is so much of productivity we bring in uh, and uh, you know meeting colleagues is one of the reason why we go back to the office great points wonderful starting note to be honest i am quite impressed with your points and uh, any any questions from the judges before i move on to the other uh, participant mr himanshu great okay uh, mr himanshu are you ready from your team uh, lal uh... Krishna Macharya ji wanted to say something. I'm so sorry, Mr. I thought he said all okay, but uh, Mr. Krishna Macharya, is there anything that I've been missing? No, 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 nothing. I said okay. We will continue. We just want to listen first. Okay. No sure. judgment at the beginning. Absolutely. Great. Coming to work from home, led by Mr. Himanshu. So, Mr. Himanshu, from your side, who is the first speaker that we have for today's debate? I'll follow the suit, lead by example. perfect great and i'll just get started with the 2 minutes at the end of last 30 seconds i will give you a reminder sir thank you very much sure. on the count of 3 1 2 3 start dear judges organizers teams on both sides and my dear friends there is a saying in hindi haath kangan ko rc kya meaning bracelet in hand doesn't require a mirror to see you can see it very clearly without the mirror similar is the simile between comparison between work from home and work from office if you have a chance you would love to work from home enjoy the flexibility and work life balance enjoy time with your family my dear friend ekta has pointed out several options and reasons why work from office is better in terms of collaboration survey meeting friends and family meeting colleagues and several others we will talk about each of them as we progress but today let me tell you something that a choice between work from home and work from office is not like a toss with a coin which is either heads or tails it is not like a choice between day and night it is not like a choice between a terrorist and government where it's very clear who will you choose rather work from home is a choice be- between whether your situation allows you to do work from home it's like a choice between carrying coins or go for new payment methods obviously you will go for new payment methods but if your consumers if people you deal with need to carry coins they don't have access to internet then no choice you'll have to go with coins although they are bulky difficult to carry very expensive to produce similarly you will go for work from office if you cannot afford work from home is the choice between having a two bedroom apartment or a four bedroom apartment obviously you'll go for four bedroom apartment if you can afford so we are not talking about choice where you cannot afford it all right so it's a, not a mutually exclusive choice where your situation permits work from home gives you a lot of options to collaborate i have met my f- colleagues as a family ca institute has done several events due to work from home so we have enjoyed our time with the family we have enjoyed our time with friends with our chosen few who would want to spend time with and collaboration has indeed increased lal do give me a chance do let me know when my time is up 
because thank keep you so much sir line. it is done ah. just the time okay. is just finished okay thank you sir the two minutes have just come to and thank you so much hmm. manch and as always you always have this uh, a wonderful start the the bracelet uh, line in hindi was amazing start trust me uh it just brought the context back so this was a wonderful start from mr imanchu and his team towards work from home topic moving on for the second round of this discussion again jwalan from my team will be coming and taking up thank you so much ekta jwalan can i have you on the stage please hi everyone hi jwalan so we have jwalan from here Well, Ekta's team to talk about work from office. Jwalant, are you ready? Yes, I am. Great. I'm gonna just start on the count of three. One, two, three. Start. Uh, I'd like to make only two points in uh, favor of uh, work from office. First is what uh, in response to what Mr. Manshu was saying. If you can, why not? My issue with that is we are just widening the divide. between the digital haves and the digital have nots the well educated white collared workers have the luxury of working from home the rest do not think of your drivers your nurses your you know healthcare workers or retail workers what are they going to do right so they don't have the choice by, by research between 60 to 80% of the employees in this world do not have a luxury or a choice of working from home so we are talking about a very small privileged group and even within that talk about older workers they are not that comfortable with digital talk about newer and younger workers who need the help of the mentors and uh, support from the office and connections uh, which come from there there are a whole lot of people who fall between the cracks when we go down the path of working from home versus working from office working from office is a great lever leveler everybody has the same opportunity same facility same privileges and only your work shows not who's got better access to internet for example uh, second thing about uh, uh, the meeting seconds yes about the meetings etc i would prefer quality over quantity my personal example last one year i have been the member of the ca group i have attended lots of meetings i have not met anybody i can't have made one friend new to this particular session so yes we all attend lots of meetings what do we get out of it it's the quality that matters not the quantity thank you thank you jolent absolutely on time thank you so much on raising on the topic of quality versus quantity moving on the discussion to the work from home mr himanchu may i invite the second person from your team to discuss on this topic sure second person from my team shweta will go ahead and present her views ms shweta can i have you on the screen please yes i am here hi mr lal hi just give me one second are you ready yes i am ready okay and the count of 3 1 2 3 start thank you everyone i i am rooting for work from home and i resonate with kala ma'am exactly that this work from home is new norm in today scenario there is a very beautiful line every cloud has a silver lining and there is a very beautiful life ahead of us beyond this pandemic situation because this is a widely accepted new norm in this new normal world as mr obama has said the future rewards those who press on i don't have time to feel sorry for myself i don't have time to complain i am going to press on so as we all know this pandemic situation will be over soon but there will be many other health hazards that will continue to loom over our heads the social distancing is new norm in today's new normal world and we have to we have to evolve ourselves and to understand this situation and to make ourselves more resourceful so that we can work in this situation in any other situation if it comes in future second thing what is the main demand of this time this time we need to work smarter not harder so it takes a lot of optimism and courage to see beyond this immediate crisis and act accordingly thankfully this forced work from home has helped us to evolve and cleared many skepticisms against remote working across the globe the third aspect which i want to point out here that the most important component of this whole ecosystem is human being ourselves so 
the uh, the point is that the prepare prevent rather to repair and repent so the safeguarding of our lives is the most important thing we know that we have lost very useful very valuable lives brains and amazing uh, resource resources during this pandemic crisis so we so the so to build a better community a better environment is the most important responsibility collective responsibility of each one of us staying back so at home for work will help us to build a better community that's it thank you so much thank you so much shweta your time has just come to an end thank you so much for those wonderful points on repair versus the prepare moving on to ekta thank you yeah uh, last on work from office be... i know the next person from vishal. your team please vishal will be coming up mr vishal can i have you on the screen please yeah yeah me okay great are you are you ready vishal yes i am ready okay on the count of 3 1 2 3 get started while work from home has been critical to control the spread of virus it hasn't come without a compromise to health and economy as the number of people working from home has increased healthcare providers have seen a rise in work related injuries that are unique to the home environment we all know op about office ergonomics the office furnitures have been designed to maintain a balance between the health and efficiency we take breaks from our desk to attend meeting discussion in formal chats this reduces the exposure to laptops and computers which in turn reduces the strain to our eyes such activities also ensure social well being and help prevent depression and anxiety it also helps the employee to increase the morale now uh, proponents of the work from home may argue that the, it is reduces stress but yes it reduces some amount of stress but it increases the it rather increases the stress due to burnout and overwork which comes along with the extended working hours employees may also feel the fear of missing out due to missed opportunities of career advancement performance related issues which can also increase the st stress anxiety and agony home interiors are not meant for uh, meant uh, not meant for office work these uh, these do not comply with the office ergonomics hence it leads to it uh, leads to back pain and neck and various other uh, various other problems we can have access to healthier food but it can also lead to stress eating in form of more in form of more junk and carbs it can also lead to weight gain due to lack of adequate movement and increase the increase the obesity there are also risk of carpal tunnel syndrome which is nothing but the strain to the eyes wrist and hand strain which we are all observing along the with the news everywhere along the world people are facing all these kind of problems in a survey in a survey, small survey in italy the results showed that 41.2% of at home workers reported low Time back up. pain Time okay up. thanks so sorry thank you so much vishal some of the wonderful points that you brought across were on the health issues and the ergonomics absolutely proud to get on and to move on to mr himachu the next participant from your team on work from home will be anurag gupta great mr anurag can we have on the screen please yes hi hi are you are you ready anurag yes okay on the count of 3 one second 1 2 three let's get started okay. thank you himanshu and good evening everyone so just now uh, my fellow member pointed out about the health health aspects from i mean health aspects by working from office i would like to point out there has been a, a numerous health hazards uh, occurring from the work from office for example we have there's a if you are companies now embracing the work from home culture so we can get rid of the sedentary lifestyle by while embracing the work from home culture on the worst side effect of work from office encourages a sedentary lifestyle you sitting all the day office trying to finish a project you strain your back and neck and it also behind it also a, one of the reason behind obesity work from home you allow you to have a great masala chai ki chuski and the bike and the yoga and you can also do all the those exercise ex activity which you would like to do while trying to save the time in commuting from home to office so i would say there is a there is a proper quote i would like to uh, remind you all you take care of your body it is the only place where to live so that's how the work from home culture embraces that fact it also increases to the physical and mental well-being of employees by working from home they can lead to better health in a variety of ways they can do devote time for physical activity ability to eat healthier recover from illness or surgery at home less exposure to illness so there are numerous effects i can point out and 
also while there is a study 30 minutes of daily one day commuting is associated with increased level of stress and anxiety there is a research showing commuting 10 miles to work each final day final 30 seconds is associated with health issues like high cholesterol blood pressure risk of depression so work from home allows you to do your work parallel to your priorities outside of work like stress sleep in the morning spending time with family getting in a workout eating healthy breakfast so i would like to end my speech with the powerful quote the groundwork of all happiness is health and that's what the work from home is embracing thank you wow thank you so much anurag that was wonderful points on some of the work life balance and the mental and the physical well being amazing moving on the debate miss ekta shri vidya please and we have mr vidya from ekta's team to talk about work from office hi Hi, Shri Vidya. Hear me? I, yes, we can hear you, but we cannot see you. I don't know why, but I guess. Oh, I can. I can. Okay, great, wonderful. Okay, are you ready, Shri Vidya? Yes. These are the common lines that we hear, right? Are you ready? Yes, <laughs> I can. Yep. Okay, get to start on the count of three. One, two, three. Hi, start. everyone. I'm talking about discipline when it comes to work from office versus uh, work from home. Discipline can be in three. Uh, in three areas one is personal one is professional and the one was towards society our family friends our loved ones when it comes to personal discipline it's something that we've been practicing right from childhood going to school on time waking up on time and uh, studying following a timetable and finally sleeping on time so this is all possible in the extended work from office culture whereas when we are all at home we find ourselves sleeping at odd hours eating at odd times snacking badly and these rules which are uh, implemented in office cannot actually be followed while we are working from home when it comes to professional how we present ourselves our body language how we present keep up our personal appearance everything matters when we are actually going out to work we have to maintain office decorum we'll find most of the guys haven't shaved in this group also now this is not possible when we are in a work from office mode and when it comes to society and friends i talk about time uh quality time and undivided and focused attention to either place whether it is office or whether it is uh, our homes when we are in office we should do be doing our office work and when we are at home we should be focusing on what we should be doing at home home is a place where we can relax and have fun office is a place where we can be professional and do our work so and as we final 30 uh, seconds as we have seen uh, right from the beginning of our lives it is we've always been doing work from office and home previously when it was demarcated it was easier but now with the lines being blurred the actual doing work is, is easier it is the fighting for who will do the work when it will be done when it will actually get done that adds to our stress and anxiety so i will always root for working from office and playing and having fun at home thank you everyone Thank you so much, Shividya. I could see Nishan turning off his camera when he spoke about not shaving. Trust me, I'm clean, <laughs> fully shaved. It's just that the Zoom has some, you know, screen effects. But rest, I'm completely. <laughs> I I accept it. I accept <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Some of the wonderful points that you you correctly pointed out. Moving on the debate. Uh, may I call upon Mr. Himanshu, the next participant from your team on work from home. who is also just like everybody else in the debate on both sides working from home jay somnath jay somnath hello everyone hi somnath are you ready i can see you're all get up done yeah i am ready yes chashma topi sab ready hai theek hai i just on took the... off my glasses yeah just okay. so that i can see everyone <laughs> <laughs> perfect on the count of 3 1 2 3 let's get started my dear friend shrividya just mentioned that we all are used to our schedule since a very young age since childhood when we start going to school i completely agree to her point productivity depends on focus and focus is a state of mind it's not about where you are working from it's about how much control do you have in yourself if you are satisfied at the end of the day that you have done a good job you are productive doesn't matter where you work from who decides productivity it is you me 
our bosses, their bosses, and so on. Let's say I tell my boss that I can do 10 tasks in a day. Probably my boss will tell to his boss that he will do eight tasks because he don't want to overcome it. And then I end up doing eight tasks by half day. Does that mean I will finish 16 tasks in the day? No, I will slow down my pace of working. I will take my own breaks and then I will still finish 10 works. So that's not productivity. Maybe if we are working from home, we finish the 10 fast and then use that extra time for that's family time. There's a University of California study done which says every worker in office is interrupted in every 11 minutes. And to come back to the same state of mind to start focusing, it takes another half an hour. So I don't think work from office is super productive. If you still become super productive, I think you will not be giving enough time to your house, your family. Thank you. Thank That's you. all. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry, Somnath, you just ran out of the time. But thank you so much on some of those important points about it's all in your mind, the productivity. I, I really agree. Uh, there's so much that you can do. It's all in your mind. It's all in your brain. And uh, I, I'm just worried about the judges. It's so tough. Everyone has got such an amazing point. Uh, best of luck uh, to Mr. Ramki and Mr. Krishnamachari uh, to evaluate the best of these two comers. But moving on to the debate, we maybe call upon Ms. Ekta, who from your Anu. team Anu will fight go. on. Anu will go next. Ms. Anu. Hey, hi. Hey, Anu. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's get started yes. on the count of three. One, two, three. Start. Hi, everybody. Uh, so on a lighter note, let me uh, compare this work from home scenario. It I can all relate is what I can relate is it's just uh, juggling between kids online classes and their clashes, whether preparation of budget or preparation of bajias or zoom meetings with Dumachale background song. I somehow feel that we are trading off the productivity. Okay, in for flexibility. So here are my points that I want to put forth. One is the clear distraction from many ends, from either you have uh, uh, from your kids' online classes and then the distraction from your internet or your technical this one. Every time we have, do you hear me? Do you, uh, this one, are you able to see me? This is a distraction and the productivity is lost in this way. And there's also a survey that is conducted, okay, by Manifest, which says that 45% of are more productive at office, while only 30 feel productive at home. Why is this? Because they have a designated workspace, they are comfortable, and they have uninterrupted internet, and it makes life simple and easier. And at home, what you do is multitasking. You have to run around uh, behind the kids. You have to uh, say what is the schedule for you know, your uh, kids' studies and your whole household things, everything Last which causes seconds. a lot of disturbance. And the effectiveness, effective productive hours that you work only starts after all this is done and which extends till uh, night 3.30, 4.30, where you have to, you're to completely lost. So that's where the, so the productivity is completely lost in the whole thing. So this is the point that I want to put forward for there is no productivity when you work at home. Great, wonderful points, Anu. I just loved your comparison to budget bhajia. I might would like to add one more thing which starts with B, budget bhajia belly that we have put on because of all these things that we've been eating nonstop. <laughs> so true. Moving on the debate, uh, may I now call upon Mr. Himanshu sure. to continue to count, his points. To counter Anu's from... points, in addition to what Somnath already did, we have next Saloni. Saloni Shah, can I have you on the screen, please? Hi, hi, Mr. Talal. Hi, everyone. Hey, Saloni, you look like in uh, Hawaii. Are you in Singapore or in Hawaii by any chance? Hawaii, Are you ready? Just one minute, please. Sure. Saloni has a different name or what? Because I don't find her in Saloni the list. Saloni with Y. Sorry? 
Saloni with Y. S A L O N Y. No, it is not the spelling. I'm talking about the name itself is not there. Okay. Uh, I so have. When did you qualify? No, I'm talking about not the qualification, sir. Okay, so I'm not working from home anyway. Okay, uh, Krish, I think you can, if you don't find it, please hand it the list. I'm also checking. No, the list no. is saved to him. He's telling you. Okay, he's not able to so find Saloni, it. is it? Saloni? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. You can that find is the seventh month. Okay. okay, fine. Thank you. Okay. So Saloni is from Himanshu's team, and she will continue to talk about uh, the benefits of work from home. Saloni, are you ready? Yes. Judges, are you ready? Any, are we good to start? Great. I just give me one second while I go back to my timer. On the count of three, Saloni. One, two, three. Let's get started. Okay. Hi, all. I would like to present some facts that will portray how work from home has benefited all of us playing the heart of employees as well as employers. Let me start with a quote from Bill Gates who predicted this pandemic five years ago. If you have got development centers all over the world, you have got the sales force out with the customers. The fact that tools like Skype and digital collaboration are letting people work better at a distance, this is a wonderful thing. There have been ample surveys conducted on this topic, but in the interest of time, I will give you top five survey results that prove the thumping success that work from home is not only superior, but is already successful. First point, productivity. PwC survey states that more than 80% of the employers and 71% of the employees claimed that remote work has been a success. More than 40% of the employers said that the performance is improving under remote work on aspects such as collaborating on new projects, securing relationship with new customers, coaching employees to succeed, and innovating products and services. Globally, Every three out of four respondents feel fully productive at home as they gain back 35 minutes a day due to fewer unwanted interruptions. Survey conducted by Stanford study that monitored around 500 employees in China's largest travel agency for two years found that working from home increased productivity by over 20%. That's equivalent to an extra working day each week, right? Last 30 seconds. Second point is cost savings. Going by popu popular opinion, nearly 77% of the executives believe allowing employees to work remotely may lead to lower operating cost. A company entirely based on working from home won't need to pay the office rent. Utility bills and other management costs can be significantly lowered as well. Survey done from our very own Straits Times Singapore said that 69% of the respondents said working from home helped them save money as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Saloni, for finishing on time and elaborating on different surveys that you've come across on this particular topic, talking about the productivity, pro talking about the productivity, excuse me, I'm sorry. Moving on, can we have Ms. Ekta, yeah, the next uh, member so from your team? Definitely. So counter for, uh, to Saloni about productivity, but productivity is not possible without teamwork. Chitra will take on those points. Chitra. Thank you, Ekta. Chitra? Are you hey, ready, hi. Chitra? Yes, I'm ready. Are you in office just for this topic or conversation or you generally go to office? Uh, I generally come to office because I love coming to office. Uh, I love coming to office because I've got wonderful colleagues. Okay, I have and... to start your time. I have to start your okay. time so that you can talk this in within the time space. Okay, okay I uh, can't wait. To start under, under three, I know. One, two, three, start. Thank you. So uh, Henry Ford said that coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress and uh, working together is a success. So I'm lucky to have wonderful colleagues uh, within my team, within the cross-organizational team, where I can go and talk to them and resolve the issues very, very fast. Up. So uh, for me, work from home means more anxiety, uncertainty, stress, and I'm alone at home, like alone working on the topic at home. So uh, when we are at home, working from home, managers don't have a clear view of what I'm doing, what my team members are working on. They can, if we are with our team members, we can go and ask questions, which is very fast. I don't have to book a Zoom meeting with them, wait for uh, wait for my members to come in. And of course, um, I don't have any technical glitches. I can just walk around and ask. And uh, so uh, we don't have, we can, uh, uh, being socially isolated also leads leads to suddenly feel as if no one to turn to for support. When we work remotely, a problem arises and we are suddenly in isolation. And uh, of course, we miss those uh, uh, 
cooler uh, the pantry ch 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 chats when you meet people and uh, know what's going on within your team outside your team and it helps us look at the bigger picture and uh, you know not only about your work um, you know what others are Last doing how huh, there's no duplication of work and uh, how we can improve better yeah That's all. Thank you so much, Chitra. Thank you for Thank completing you, well before the time. And I completely agree. We miss those pantry ke chit chats mm. and those musty talks that we do. Thank you. Moving mm. on. Can I now call upon Mr. Himanshu uh, for the next team member? Who will be Minakshi Srivastava? Uh, Hi, Minakshi. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm to ready. To continue on work from home. On the count uh, of three. One. Two, three. Let's get started. I think before pandemic, uh, everyone was uh, talking about cost cutting. Everybody, but I think pandemic has acted as a catalyst for many of the company in case of cost. Uh, because everyone was running how to cut cost, how to do this and that, but nobody realized that asking their employees to work from home will reduce their huge recurring cost to a great extent. Yes, the huge cost of paying office rental, of maintaining your own office premises, of which every company was spending a lot on these expenses. Now, as a result of this, I think many companies have decided to sell a part of their office space and to keep a certain percent of their employees on work from home as they are finding their employees very productive. On top of it, many companies realize that we are saving huge amount on internet, electricity, uh, housekeeping, pantry, security costs, which all was once considered under, uh, as unavoidable costs. But now we can avoid these costs very easily which in turn to re uh, it relates to, I mean, it increases your profit. Uh, on top of it, this pandemic has acted as a catalyst for employees also to save a lot of costs on commute, wardrobe costs. They are working in remote location where they are saving on rental and outside food uh, expenses. So all of these are expenses are being saved by, I think, many of the employees. Uh, and for wardrobe costs, I would like to give you a live example uh, for... One. 30 seconds. Go. Hello. So I think uh, all of you are saving a lot on the uh, wardrobe, especially after this pandemic time. So what I would like to say, conclude that pandemic has given all the companies and employees to save an unimaginable cost saving ideas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Minakshi, for those valuable points on work from home. And I'm certainly sure it, it does save a lot of wardrobe cost. I haven't used my tie for a long time. Moving on to Miss Ekta to continue the debate from work from office. Yeah, so, hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Okay, so just to, you know, sum it up as all of us yes. really discussed right now, is about quality. It's not about how much of time we get, where we get, but it's about putting the quality and that comes best when we are in this right set of ambience where all are working towards a common goal and are putting their best efforts for that purpose. If I am at home, I would like to put a quality time to my children rather than you know pushing them away that oh, I'm on a Zoom call, please go out of the room and don't disturb me. Yes, I would like to put my quality work there. So having this line being drawn, between both the space is really, really very helpful. And the distractions are minimal when we are at the right, right job. So, uh, I mean, later on when we discuss in the second round, I'm sure my uh, colleagues will rather put in, rather my team members will be bringing out points which relate to distractions, which relates to how productivity is better when we have the quality being put into place, as well as how we can demarcate between the various, uh, draw the lines and have more collaboration amongst people. The economy and the cost, as we said, the right now, the team, we heard the team talking about the cost reduction done by the uh, organization. But what is the impact on the employees? That is also necessary to be looking to the, uh, you know, to be taken up into the consideration. We'll see that a lot of the employees have to actually incur additional cost of buying gadgets or buying the infrastructure, which can help them take up the load of working from home, set up a proper work office, which we say, uh, inside the home, home office, the new term which has now come up, okay, we have home, uh, you know, equipment being set up so that we feel that we are at office. So why do we need to have an artificial feel when we can work from home? 
So those are the few of the points which we we'll like to put it up forward and take it up in the next round. Thank you so much, Ekta, for summarizing all the points that we, you and your team have discussed on the round one. Can I now call upon Mr. Himanshu to quickly summarize the points for work from home that has been uh, widely discussed by him and his team members? Yes, Lal. So the team has one leader and six members. So my five people have spoken, one person yet to speak, after which I'll take the opportunity to summarize. I'm so sorry. Did I miss one person from your team? Uh, my sincere apologies. No worries. I am here, Anubha. Anubha will... Great. Thank you so much, Imanshu, for uh, rectifying that. I'm sorry once again. I did not notice that I missed that one member. Uh, can I have Ms. Anubha? Yes, Anubha will go. Hi. Okay, great. Are you ready, Anubha? Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. Uh, on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's get started. Hi, friends. Uh, there is no true opinion on the fact that work from home is a modern age revolution, which has come into limelight in the recent times. And like any revolution, it is here to make us progress, not only professionally, but individually as well. An individual who had lost itself in the fast paced and mechanized lifestyle, work from home definitely puts into perspective work-life balance. I hope you have watched a movie, Tamasha, in which the protagonist Ranbir Kapoor was a slave of the pressurized and mundane life of an employee who in the trap of office culture had lost the love of his life. How I wish creative people like him get a flexible working environment so that they can, they can perform to the best of their capability and not compromise on the time spent with the family and kids. Friends, I'm the live example how work from home has enabled me to be with my one year old without losing any opportunity to work. I can see him grow and this gives me a peace of mind and I'm able to perform even better in return. It has also made me take care of myself by eating home-cooked healthy meals and avoiding severe back aches and neck pain, which existed earlier because of sitting in a desk the whole day. Talking of home-cooked me meals, I have saved a lot on expensive lunches and how work from home has helped me save some money on the commute when I ended up taking a cab almost every day. And how about formal dresses and so much of laundry? And oh yes, I've saved, saved some for the, for the parlor sessions as well. I hope all the students will agree. Friends, in the end, I would just like to say, work from home is the newfound norm, giving employees flexibility and balance in all forms. Employee and employers are optimally able to perform, creating worldwide a revolutionary storm. That's all my friends. Thank you so much. Uh, Lala, I think Kushal from my team is also yet to speak. So if you can give him a chance, please. Sure, sure, Ekta, I, I will. Thank you so much, Anuba. Thank you for those uh, wonderful points that you've rightly pointed out on work from home while you've been able to spend time with your kid and also focus on your work. Thank you once again. Moving on from Ekta's team, can we now call upon Kushal? Kushal really is the final uh, member from your team, right, Ekta? If I am yeah, right. Yeah. Yep, great. Okay, Kushal, are you ready? Uh, can you hear me? Loud and clear, absolutely. Can you see my screen? They can see your face for sure. No, no, my screen I'm saying. Can you nope. see my screen? Nope. Uh, let me, give me a moment. Let me share this it again. This is the first round, Lal. Yes. There must be some issues. Can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. we can see some fresh air. Okay, perfect. Very good. So, you can let me start, Kushal. Are you ready now? Yeah. yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. Let's get started. So guys, I'm not going to quote some, you know, fancy quotes or let's say some newspaper headlines just to, you know, make the things groundbreaking, but I will talk just simple things. What is work-life balance? Work-life balance is distributing your personal and professional, uh, you're distributing your time between personal and professional obligations without which you do not have happy, you are not healthy and same applies to your family. Wearing pajamas and forgetting your work-life balance needs doesn't mean that you are productive enough, right? You, you, you need to see when you're working, you're working, when you're, when you're doing the personal obligations, you are there on personal obligations. I call it YBYB. What is YBYB? You bring your bag. In the morning, you bring your bag to the office and in the evening, you take it back. People, your bosses are not taking you for the granted that, okay, you are still there. Why don't you just show your face? It's okay, whatever you do, just show your face. I don't care if you are with your baby or with your wife, just show your face. Just don't on the camera and things like that. You bring your bag. If you have a monitor, if you are a desktop computer, you don't even need to, you know, work or check even emails after you go home. 
and then you make buddies for your life for me i would say i personally have made buddies for life in my different companies where i have worked different colleagues with whom i have worked those buddies for life this this is where you 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 make them and then you remember okay this is our a friend in need is a friend indeed water cooler chats you are missing your water cooler chats the water cooler chats where last 30 seconds for each and everything that helps you better on your emotional well being fresh air it is it is everyone knows everyone is doing meditation they need fresh air they need to the parks they go to the parks why because the better fresh air gives you better decision making you when you are working from office you go on the things you go on the shopping after the office hours everything makes you socialize everything makes you be more productive at work so i am talking about sense on the real life example practically how it happens thank not the so much question i'm sorry but your time is up and thank i, and I conclude my speech thank you thank you for this wonderful presentation and thank you for introducing a new terminology for everyone yb yb just a reminder to everyone guys while i know we are all chatting please refrain from topic talking on anything on politics and religion okay so this has been the lal do i get a chance to summarize yes 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 absolutely much i'm just coming to you this has been the completion of the first round from all the team members from both the sides while in the previous uh, session itself i was ekta to summarize but mr himanshu now your turn to summarize on all the points which has been discussed and debated by your team members on work from home over to you for 2 minutes i'll start the timer now thank you very much lal amazing debate going on everybody spoke very well i am particularly happy with kushal's uh, kushal jaju's presentation very lively very interesting but buddy i am really disappointed with the arguments that you made and i i can understand that you need to win this debate and therefore you are talking about it but really do you really want people to carry bags we need to come out of this traditional mindset as my team leaders will prove about whatsapp facebook google linkedin you name it you have it is no such carry the bag you go forward is the way to go a lot of you spoke about surveys done during the pandemic time my dear friends all those surveys are true and effective are they successful they were successfully done from home from home they were successfully done so everything can be done successfully unless you are a farmer okay most of the things can be done from home and again it's a matter of choice hath kangan ko rc kya bracelet doesn't require mirror three out of the six speakers in ekta team talked about productivity 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 i am sorry about that my friends i knew you will not have points because hath kangan ko rc kya there is no productivity you talk about i'm not talking about survey results talk about my own self this year if you take my salary one part comes from my salary in monetary terms four part comes from job satisfaction i have worked much more much better and extremely proud of the way i have worked in 2020 besides the several dozens of extra curricular activities that i did half of which ca institute already knows another half that you are not aware so i'm really Last really very happy about it productivity fresh air my dear friend fresh air is possible because most of us are at home environment as anuba very beautifully summed up environment is saved because of work from home the carbon dioxide emissions that the mankind we have tried to reverse the clock and my dear friends please contribute your part to continue reversing that clock for the betterment of humanity for the future of your children and my children and for all animals on the planet thank you very much work from home rocks thank you so much imanshu thank you for such a wonderful points on the productivity and on the climate change i mean i, I completely agree with those carbon dioxide uh, detection that has been done because people are not traveling and there has been less commute from everyone so yeah some of the great points that you brought forward so, so that my friends brings us to the end of round 1 where we saw mr himanshu and team having some wonderful points that they have come across and summarized by himanshu on supporting the work from home topic uh, where by miss ekta and her team were continuously supporting the topics on work from office so yes that's the conclusion of round 1 uh before i move on to the round two uh just wanted to have a quick check with the judges is there any uh observation any feedback any comment at this point or should we refer it to the last i think it is okay so far so good everything everybody has made their point quite clear uh let's wait for mr ramki to add some more i'm okay with it well lal i think it's been fantastic to listen to the passionate uh 
sort of uh, you know articulation by all of the speakers so it's good fun and let's move forward sure thank you so much uh, to both the judges moving on lan to- the second round uh, himanshu team will start first okay Now, may I call upon Mr. Himanshu for the round two? Sure, Lal. And uh, may I know who will be the first uh, speaker from your team, sir? Uh, or do I start, or uh, directly give it to my speaker? I had prepared to start myself. Yes, you can. Unless in interest of time, you don't have the time. Then no, I'll directly you, conclude. You, you can start also. I'm just thinking, like, are you going to be the first speaker from your team, uh, like no. the last time? No, I'm just uh, giving a start, and then the team will continue. Sure, give a start. No worries. All right. In the previous round, we spoke about how worldwide research have proven the success, efficacy, effectiveness, and efficiency, along with work-life balance, pleasure, happiness, and superiority of work from home. But in this time, this round, we'll talk about some compelling questions, some intriguing. and compelling arguments that will ponder that will make you think my dear friends work from home has brought us together and closer to our families as some of the arguments that will be put forward by both the team will show and will go towards direction of showing that why work from home would be a preferred choice for the future generation we need to come out of the shackles of traditionalism and adopt the new when the apartments were being built people said that who is going to live away from the land from the ground postal department of england said who is ever going to use personal computers smartphones will never be successful they are always susceptible to hacking all these things were said but as mahatma gandhi said first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they fight you and then you win my dear friends it's not a battle between work from home and work from office it's a choice it's a life choice to let you enjoy your life and come closer to your family your hobbies and people of your choice to your gyms to conclude your resolutions to do what you really want out of your life we chartered Last accountants and sorry several other friends we are paid not because of our hard work we are paid because of our thinking and this will be sound mind will reside in a sound body which is happy and i am happy because she is close to me so work from home works right ranchi say right <laughs> indeed absolutely okay, thank you thank you so much manchu for that wonderful start uh, to continue the debate on the second round and may i now call upon uh, one of your team member uh, for work from home Oh, uh, Ekta wants to go, or should I go with my team member? No, you you st- you go with your team, Himanshu. All right. So, we would like to go with Anubha. Anubha will share her Anubha. Yes. Can I call upon Miss Anubha for her Anubha to be shared across? Uh, hi, everyone. Hey, Anubha, welcome back. Are you ready? Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, on the count of three, one, two, three. Let's get started. So, as I mentioned in my earlier speech, and as Himanshu concluded, how work from home is the new norm, and uh, how it has been running across all over the globe successfully. Employees are able to deliver and perform to the best of their capability in case of work from home, and definitely, environment is another perspective which which has come into limelight. in news all over the world you have you might have heard that how animals are coming back and how uh, environment is going back and uh, is is giving back to us in the sense that of less carbon dioxide emission and how the saving of commute has uh, helped a lot in work from home perspective also i would like to highlight that we are setting an example for our future generation people they by seeing my son my son who is one year old and uh, he sees like um, me and my husband we are both working from home so he gets a kind of satisfaction when mom and dad both are here and it gets it is getting inbuilt in his brain that okay my family is around and this is how it should be so i think we are setting an example for the coming generation in terms of sending them to uh, you know uh, the online uh, in sending them to the local um, 
centers where they spend the entire day or where they used to spend the entire day with the helpers i think they are getting a huge amount of time to spend with us which is definitely going to prove us in the coming time and this is the time if we That's don't rise seconds. and this is the time if we don't rise and uh, consider this as an ongoing option i think we will be doomed because this is the way we can uh, present like we can save our environment and this is the era this is the time we can uh, do us a bit for the environment and our future generations so i would like to end on that note thank you very much anubha that was great note on the environment and the future generation taking forward the debate now may i call upon ms ekta to for the second round on work from office salal so this is the intro right the tag for the second round yeah are you do you have an intro speech for the second round i'll just open it and then i'll pass it on to the team speaker yes please great so as you know we were uh, mr himanshu meant about himself he just focused on himself that what he got actually out of being at home and being able to explore on to various options but was it possible actually for many of us or was it actually creating lot many distractions for us and is that option sustainable in the long run that is also a question to ask from among ourselves if all of us have been given an option that either you have work from home or work from office and you don't have a middle path where are you actually going to go you are actually going to go back to office and be more productive there so we have to look at something which is sustainable not a time gap arrangement it is not something that how i can get myself enriched but i have to look at the society as large this is a purpose which we have to take care right we can't be just focused on ourselves and our abilities and our uh, betterment it's about how we can take the society at large together with us how we can be more sustainable and how we can be more actually efficient hence looking for it we feel that work from home office is the option which can actually be the long path we have to be there together working for a larger purpose hence i'll ask, actually ask my team member uh, chitra to work or to rather discuss about how working life is better for working mothers when they are working from office over to you chitra yeah thank you ekta i'll take this up hi chitra oh. are you ready for this round 2 yes can we get started I'm... then on the count of 3 1 2 3 let's get start okay so i have a kid uh who's about 4 years old she's uh, slightly more than 4 years old so if she sees me some day at home so there was a time when my husband and uh, she like my husband the like schools they um they shut down just for one month and they started very soon so my husband would go to office because he's also office also started very uh, soon so they would go to office in the mo- morning as per the usual routine and she'll come up to me and ask me mama uh daddy is going to office i'm going to school why you are not going to office because that's how our mindset is when you send school a kid to school at 3 years old initially they cry later they get used to it so uh my point is uh firstly uh kids should start early to get into a r- routine because eventually our bird has to leave its nest they cannot be, be staying at home all the time once even they will grow up they'll go to the boarding school or hostel uh to study then they have their own work they will have, probably get married and have their own family they cannot be staying with the parents forever or depending on the parents forever my second point is uh, i'm a i'm at a mid management level so if my boss asks me to uh, finish a report and gives me a deadline for 1 hour and if my kid wants attention that time i cannot be telling my boss okay i cannot give you because i have a kid who needs my attention i'm working from home so i have to look both after my family and uh, towards the work i am me doing a work life balance it doesn't work that way right so if my kid sees me at home uh she'll obviously cry for my attention and won't get good to my helper so these are some of the concerns which uh, uh, so i don't um, it, it is not practical to work from home forever so yeah we should get into a routine and uh, um work from office very soon absolutely chitra thank you mm-hmm. so much for continuing the discussion on work from office now moving mm-hmm. on to mr himanshu uh, to continue the debate on work from home may i know who in your team will be taking up this minakshi will go next with a compelling points hi minakshi can we have you on the screen please and there already hey are you ready yes i'm ready on the count of 3 1 2 3 let's get started Uh, okay Sorry. i think all of you must be an amazing performer uh, i mean uh, in 
amazing performance uh, you must all be a very good employee in your office but i think you all can be replaced in your office but i just want to ask you all can you all be replaced in your family is it true uh i think no your son your daughter cannot replace you your spouse cannot replace you don't you think in work from home you can play your responsibility very well as an employee as well as a family member especially when your family needs medical attention so what i think uh, in work from home i am able to play both roles very well the other thing that uh, uh, other panelists were uh, saying that we are not socially interacting we are not uh, we are not going to office but what i feel that after work from home i am able to interact more with my family members in parallel during my office hours i am uh, in touch with uh, my workers uh, co-workers and we are getting more time to call our near and dear ones after work from home and i am able to spend more times with my family and friends which i was not able to do earlier uh, if i can take example of our ici chapter many of us many of us have joined during this work from home so are we not interacting socially are we not all in last 30 seconds networking and the other point that comes about productivity and focus if you talk about productivity what i feel that uh, how come companies have uh, generated so huge profit uh, from work from home in this uh, work uh, from work from home if their employees were no productive not productive and the other point focus focus come i think it can come from work from home uh, ccd starbucks and every startup i think started in this way so then they have focus if focus was not there then how come they brought their office office their organization right. to uh, like fb whatsapp and apple Thank you so much, Manakshi. You just ran out of the time, but thank you so much on continuing your debate and some valuable points on supporting work from home. Moving on, may I now call upon Miss Ekta? Uh, I'll have Vishal for my team. Mr. Vishal, can we have you on the screen, please? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. okay, on the count of three: one, two, three. Let's get started. Working from home has implications for both economic development and urban planning. Our proponents of, of work from office have highlighted about the cost saving, reduced emissions, uh, reduced stress from the commute. But I would like to highlight at what price does this comes from? At what price does this comes from? Working from home, since it's, it is implemented, companies have shifted from the urban areas to the remote areas. which had disturbed the real, the planning of all the real estate community we and it had directly impacted their bottom line housing sales and everything reduction in the commute has not only has resulted although in the cost saving to the company and maybe to certain employees but it has tremendously affected to those working in the real, in the transportation industry transportation industry airlines you see every everybody is grounded they are suffering severe losses again leading to massive job cuts companies have saved on the operating costs electricity salaries and everything but at the cost of what one person is gaining at the cost of many operating costs reduced has resulted in the reduction in salaries from 30 to 50% to what period nobody knows companies have saved on electricity cost gas canteen everything but at the cost of the increased the increased cost to the employees for the canteen for the electricity for the air conditioners now air conditioners uh, we have uh, our sorry our work from our home proponents have proposed that co2 emissions have reduced but but emissions from acs have multiplied which has a large scale economic impact large number of people working at a one place had lower carbon emission than large number of people that working at large number of places worldwide scattered large number of acs running uh, running all, all across further shift from the high cost office areas to the remote areas massively as to the as to the strains of the city budget with highly relies on the tax revenues of these real estates so how are these economy so, how how will these economies work thanks thank you so much vishal i'm sorry you're just running out of the time but thank you for bringing out some of the vital points on the carbon dioxide emission and the productivity by bringing people together under one roof moving on the discussion now may i call upon mr himanshu uh to let us know who will be the next team member to support the points on work from home shweta shwet which will show the white of our arguments go for it shweta can i have ms shweta thank you mr lal for having me again thank you very much are you ready yes 
Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's get started. Yeah, hi. So everyone, um, I just heard uh, very valuable points from my friends. I just want to uh, highlight some of the points that Kushal has said, something about the work-life balance. So then uh, this work-life balance, what is that? What is that uh, state? Uh, what is that uh, situation? This is a state of mind, correctly said. So why when we go to office and we have fitted ourselves in that model nine to five working in offices and cubicles, why do we wait for the Friday? You know, the Friday comes and we are in this mode. TGIF, we texting, oh, thank God it's Friday. So what's the, what is there in the evening, right? So why we wait for this Friday? Why this Friday feels so far from Monday and why the Monday feels very close to Friday? So my uh, suggestion is that please don't let thoughts of Monday steal your Sunday. Please work on that and evolve through this situation. On, the, on a very serious note, work-life balance is not just a buzzy. Actually, self-help, in Hindi it is called Atmanirbhar, term that is a real business people laugh at. But you need it, actually. Because the main point is that you are replaceable at work, but indispensable to your family. That is the main crux of this whole human life, your responsibility towards your life, towards your family, towards your community, towards your society, or towards your nation. Second point I want to highlight, that's how we are working in this situation. We are working only for ourselves. We are working only to our convenience. No. Seconds. No. So I just want to talk about some radical advancement, which we have, which we are now exposed to. Through this situation, not only we have seen a lot of challenges, but opportunities as well. As Mr. Franklin, he's, he, he said about this, that the only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. So please make clear your doubts. This this uh, this situation has given us so many opportunities towards this advancement to re to artificial intelligence, driven to technology, you. and so that we can through our automation. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Shweta. Sorry to interrupt you, but you ran out of the time. Uh, but some wonderful points that you have brought out about replacement versus independence, indispensable. I completely agree, and that reminds me of first chapter. We go back in commerce. Uh, corporate is uh, it's not a personal entity. It does not have any personal emotions, but family does have. Moving sure. on to the debate. Now, may I call upon Ms. Ekta to introduce the next team member for the round two. Yeah, I'd like Kushal to take up next. Great. Kushal, can we have you on the screen? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. You want to share another screen? Yes. Why not? If moderator says so. Your wish is my command. We can see okay. your screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. On the count okay, of three. You can start my time. One, two, three. Let's get started. Well, my first point, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is quality over quantity. I don't want to hold my child in one hand and working on the laptop on the other hand. No, this is not the time I'm spending with my child. This is, I'm not spending time with my child. This is not work-life balance. Work-life balance is when you shut your computer, it is your family time. You, we need to see what is quality and what is quantity. We clearly need to segregate. Coming to flexibility, People are talking about flexibility to schedule their day tasks, to schedule this and schedule that. But guys, let me tell you, there are things which you can just move your chair and get it done by talking to your colleagues. But for that, you have to do a lot of follow-ups and then your bosses and colleagues, that distorts your day task. So forget mm -hmm. flexibility. Flexibility is there that you can schedule your task, but you cannot complete your task. A house, what is a house? Whether it is a place of rest or a place of stress, you have to decide. Your house is a place of rest. When you go home, you know, you have switched off everything. You have cut off from your connections and early morning, next day, you are going to see. You need the place of rest, not a place of stress. Disturbance to your family. Can you please keep your mouth shut? I'm talking to someone. I'm on a call. Can you go outside, please? Don't you understand? These are the things we, we mute on our laptops and then we talk to our family members. That is disturbance to family. We ask them, my child, who is playing? I ask her, no, don't cry. Last 30 seconds. She is a two years old. She doesn't understand whether I'm working or what. She has to do what she has to do. I cannot ask her not to dance and not to play loud music. Company culture. This is a very good point for the company's company culture. Company culture are fostered by coming together. By doing virtual onboarding only is a matter of time. All surveys are a matter of time that works now because you do not have option to go into the offices. 
from countries are in lockdown market on lockdown once it is opens up the surveys you, the thank you i'm still. here i'm telling sorry, you all the surveys will give you the opposite result thank you very much kushal i'm so sorry thank to interrupt you. you in between you are running out of time but some of the great points that you brought about family disturbance and place of rest versus place of stress moving on the conversation now may i call upon mr manshu to get another team member to talk about work from home anurag means love and after you listen to him you will fall in love with his arguments absolutely mr anurag okay i'm ready great are you ready just give me one second on the count of 3 here you go 1 2 3 start thank you much so i would like to count on my fellow member mr kushal okay he pointed out so many things and not only kushal but team also pointed about quality quantity flexibility productivity let me point out my friend there is a saying called bigger dreams happen in small places so with the company implementing work from home culture practice and those are given the option to work from home work from home is definitely limited to spend time with families follow healthy lifestyle and also anurag your voice is can't hear you anurag we cannot hear you can i request to mr pankaj no, there are to go on screen from everyone please mute everyone Uh, one second anurag i have just paused your timing don't worry can i request everyone else to be on mute please great uh, so anurag don't worry i have paused your time and i'm going to start it again now are you ready so i need to speak again or i need to speak on the uh, no from from now on i have just paused for last 5 seconds so you can start from the last 5 seconds anurag okay sure i do continue your conversation go ahead Going with the example of the better work-life balance, I can take my own example. I drop my child to school every day in the morning. Morning, I, I do other chores which I couldn't do before. I, I do practice. I, I do yoga. I do exercise. I actually ride more than thousand kilometers of bicycle riding last year, even though very in the time efficiently. There has been subsequently increase in the bicycle sale last year in Singapore. You go to any shop, you can't get any bicycle over there. So that's what. So it, it means there is no impact on productivity because of work from home. I am coming back to the productivity point of view. Now I can say there are numerous reports in published uh, saying that productivity increased from work from home. There is just uh, how how it is improved. Then we have a last thirty seconds. Can be the productivity definitely improved. The last point, okay. The Mr. Kushal said about disturbance to family, company culture. I would say there is one major major point I would like to highlight about work from home. Do you think the comp the person with disabilities or the caregivers who need a flexible schedule do they get to work in the work from office culture? No. Work from home given them opportunity to apply at various geographic locations wherever they are based at wherever they can they can do they can they can work from there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anurag. Sorry, your time is up. And I completely agree with you on your cycling topic. Yes, I did also do some of the cycling rounds thanks to work from home and some exercise. Thanks to the work from home. Moving on in the interest of time, uh, to Miss Ekta Gupta, may I now get the next Anu speaker? Anu, Anu, are you ready? Hi. Yeah, sure. Let's get started. One, two, three. Yes. So, on a very practical note, uh, my friend Minakshi asked, "Can we replace the family, or can, are we get replaced by our family because we are not there?" Well, I can say if suppose a meeting is happening and there is a call uh, and there, my kid is crying, I would not know whom to attend to. I would definitely go on with the meeting because I have to finish my work. So in that case, tell me, I don't want to become a bad mother at least. At least when I'm not there, the kid knows. Okay, mom is not there. There's somebody else to take care. So that is where I I really don't want to be a bad mother in the face of the kid. So at least that I'm saved. The second thing is that all of us, how much ever we talk to our family back, way back in India, okay, we talk to them, we do video conferencing, we talk uh, uh, every day, we have a call with them. But still, once a year at least, we have the urge to go back to India, see them. Why? That's because of the family bonding. When you see them personally, you get the family bonding. That's how. the same it with the with the, our colleagues as well okay the impromptu conversations that we have with our colleagues the meeting across the coffees these are really really productive this really helps us when we actually start working going to the office and 
working and we have anything to ask we always are over the table we just shout hey have you sent that mail that's it it's over rather than typing i mean can not you please difficult. request you to kindly send this is not the way it becomes too formal and the interaction between the uh, team members is totally lost we have spoken about a lot, lot of statistics and so many companies they have come up like you know uh, saying that you know uh, you know they have actually uh, increased their productivity but actually what has happened is over the period of time with this work from home culture the loneliness of working at home has actually affected the mental health time, time up, of time up, time the up. employees anu, anu, anu. Thank, the time you so thank you time up great points thank you so much anu i'm sure we will all so soon much. go back to india to visit our family very 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 soon moving on mr himan you may now call upon the next team member from your team to support work from home queen of facts master of numbers saloni shah mr saloni are you ready yes hi lal great get get started 1 2 3 go let me start with a quote from michael dell technology now allows people to connect any time any way to anyone in the world from almost any device this is dramatically changing the way people work facilitating 24 by 7 collaboration with colleagues who are dispersed across time zones countries and continents right isn't it amazing let me share a few more facts with you all first one employee turnover statistics show that 69% of the millennials would give up other work benefits for a more flexible working space also the companies that allow more remote work have 25% lower employee turnover than those then that than those that don't straight times report that 47% respondents said working from home has improved their mental health and 32% said wearing a mask in office can be uncomfortable and distracting do you find it comfortable to wear masks in the office all the time complying to the regulations if if i may ask second point i would like to highlight is flexible work policies The 2019 IWG Global Survey, done for 15,000 professionals in 18 nations, found that 80% of the businesses in Germany, 76% in Brazil, and 58% in India had flexible working policies already in place. And policy or policies also seem to be translating into practice. Survey conducted by World Bank and reported by World Bank publications shows that more than 70% respondents report that work from home has mostly turned out better than predicted. Last thirty seconds. Third point: future outlook. PwC survey says that every four out of five executives want to continue working from home and are satisfied with the flexibility and the well-being that they have while working from home. After all, health is wealth, right? One study by Upwork estimates that by twenty twenty-eight, seventy-three percent of all departments will have remote workers. To conclude, the benefits of remote working are far-reaching and pretty profound. Studies show remote workers, on an average, are more productive, more innovative. and more engaged thank, thank you thank you so much saloni for those wonderful points no one really likes to wear mask at office trust me moving on ms ekta can i now get the next member from your team to talk about work from office i like to have shrividya on the stage please shrividya are you ready yes i am you can hear me great get let's get started 1 2 3 go okay uh himanshu started off by saying that work from uh, office or work from home is not a choice it's a chance we got because of the pandemic and uh, somna continued it by saying that when i am working from home i have a choice to pace my work i can do the work when i am relatively free from the housework or whatever other engagements i have well this is not discipline this is not the way we want to work we want to clearly establish a routine and it, and understand that this is my time for work and in that time these are my deliverables and i will do it within those allotted time that's uh, me as a professional and that's how i want to work again when it comes to housework mind you i do both and when it comes to housework also there are tasks to be done at a particular time of the day and there are tasks to be done by me of course my husband also shares uh, a lot of the burden but it is clearly demarcated but the muddy market between us and this was going on smoothly when we were both uh, stepping out of the house to for office but now we both are at home and it leads to more conflicts as to who will do the work or why it was not done because everybody's meeting gets a preference everybody's work gets a preference and there have been times when we have had to put in uh, work, our time for work at 
odd hours which would have otherwise been used for family time or even personal time you know i could have gone for a run at that time i could have done a painting at that time so i don't believe in the fact Last that the office promotes discipline and so if it is a choice please choose work from office keep your mind compartmentalized and do better at both office and work office and home thank you thank you so much shri vidya couldn't agree more to those increased number of arguments that we started having because of work from home moving on now may i call upon mr himanshu to continue the support for work from home talking about painting next contender will paint a beautiful picture somnath adak whose arguments are very kadak or convincing somnath can you have you on the screen yeah i am here can you Let's see me get ready for a kadak chai on the count of okay, three. One, before two, three. we get ready lal i would like to show an intangible benefit of working from home to it all it will be friends. it will be part of your 2 minutes okay we started now ah <clears throat> My friends, I am working from home today and sipping on this zesty masala tea. In office, I get a hot cup of water with only two or three tea bags. No real taste. That my friend is work from home satisfaction. Do you guys know what is food coma? Yes, that 5 minutes power nap. My friends, I had it this afternoon. for 15 minutes that is work from home pleasure oh one more thing i am not a guilty parent anymore because i help my daughter finish her homework every day that my friend is work from home blessing and to top it up these days i have found my long lost love don't get me wrong my hobby painting last i think i painted when i was maybe in my teens so my friends this is work from home enjoyment now i give you four reasons work from home satisfaction pleasure blessing last and enjoyment seconds. what else can be better than working from home That's all, my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Somnath. Kadak ka to pata nahi, but Rajesh Khanna zarur dekha mere ko screen par. Moving on the discussion. <laughs> Now may I call upon Miss Ekta, the next contestant from your team, to continue the discussion on work from office. Jwalant. Jwalant. Hi guys. Yes. Hi Jwalant. Are you ready? Yes. On I the am. count of three. One, two, three. Let's get started. So Somnath, I hope you are not painting during your office hours. but that's paid by your office uh, and if you are doing it at your personal time of course that's not relevant to the debate at all uh, coming back uh, i'd like to come back to the macro pictures and talk about uh, company economy and environment we talked a lot about clean air but the clean air in the last 6 months was because of the recession and lots of businesses shutting down that, is that what we want it's better to get clean air by moving people to public transports if you get people to use less cars whether you work from home or work from office you will address your clean air and your environment will thank you for it about uh, energy we talked about it running saving office energy only works if everybody is working from home if you shut down the offices yes but most companies haven't done that you will still have offices because people do need to go to offices so now you have more energy consumption your offices are running you are paying the rents and people have to run air cons at home as well uh, we may some people save on commutes but lot of people also time their commute to dropping the children off so now you still have to do that so you aren't really saving commuting time you aren't saving energy and lot of the benefits which we are talking about is Last just in our mind thank you uh, and then uh, again we talked about profit and cost reductions guys again we are in recession you saw lots of companies are shutting down so the cost reduction was government subsidies so really that's also not a, a good reason for us to go back and do that uh, so i think i'll just uh, stay with those two with the time that i have i had a few more <laughs> but 
we'll leave it for next speakers thank, thank you. you very much all and thank you moving on to continue the conversation now nahi bas ye khatam ho raha hai aake fir wo tandav series dekhna ha bas nahi nahi khatam kushal kushal will watch watch tandav can you just go oh sorry sorry i didn't see that happen if he was working from home let me mute let me mute sorry Moving on to the conversation, Mr. Manshu, can I now get the next team member from your point, uh, from your team, to talk about work from home? Is that not all? Yes, yeah, I think it is. It is all. <laughs> yeah, now we have to summarize. Okay, yeah. uh, now uh, can I just this confirm? What happens uh, when people uh, are working virtually? We lose the touch. If I have three, three more people, oh, guys, 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 yeah, yeah, one second, one second, one second. Can I be the moderator for next two minutes, please? And then I leave the floor open like a DJ. Uh, Ekta, do we have anyone from your team left out to call talk about? No, I think we are great. Done. Last time I missed out one from both the team. That's why I want to be really sure. Uh, to summarize, both Ekta and Emanshu will get one minute each to summarize the topics uh, and the points that we've discussed. So let me just set the timer for one minute, and now I will first give uh, the opportunity to Ekta to summarize the points from your side, please. Are you ready, Ekta? Okay. Yep. One, Did two, you? three. Let's get. Sorry, you have a question? No. Okay. One, two, three. Start. Yeah, we have heard all about you know work from office and work from home, and Himanshu's team have constantly been talking about me, my pleasure, my satisfaction, my enrichment. But I'm not sure where the larger picture is going ahead. If I, being a CEO of an organization, if I'm there at his place, I'll be really concerned that what is where is my organization going? Is my team looking together at one purpose, one common goal? or are we really disfragmented or disalienated in fact the team members or other team managers are really facing a challenge that how do we really bring them all at one forum make them understand or make them drive together which would have been very very easy when we are working together at one place now if we look at if for just for a common example if there would have been a army general who had been left on the uh, spot and he has been asked to you know dictate the terms Sitting on the office or sitting at his own house, rather than not being at the ground zero, I'm not sure whether he'll be able to inspire the team to take on or the army general, being an army general, take Thank on and find the one. Thank you so much, Ekta. Yeah. Thank you so much for summarizing those points in quick one minute. Now may I get Mr. Himanshu to sure. quickly summarize the points from your side on work from home, and My your friend. time starts now. my friends from the other team have been trying constantly on the messages as well as throughout this very hard to win this debate but my friends you are calling us opponents we call you friends because we are not different chitra if your office your boss you cannot say no to your boss then you need a better company because it's a very mediocre mindset and unless you respect yourself nobody else will talking about mediocrity discipline shri vidya ji you mentioned discipline if everybody thinks about that you need to come out of that mediocrity and be disciplined have control over yourself it's a matter of your own discipline try yoga working mothers we would lose all the working mothers in distant locations or here in singapore you personally know so many doctors so many chartered accountants who are on dependent pass they get a chance to work because of work from home otherwise we would have lost their Last talent i see i friends ओके okay. हाँ कंगन को आरसी क्या बताया मैंने अभी दूसरा सेकंड थिंग मियां बीबी राजी तो क्या करेगा काजी माय कंपनी एंड सेवरल अदर मल्टीनेशनल बैंक्स एंड मल्टीनेशनल कॉर्पोरेशन टाइम अप सॉरी टाइम अप थैंक यू सो मच हिमांशु आई एम सॉरी आई टू कट यू शॉर्ट बट योर टाइम वाज अप ग्रेट वंडरफुल थैंक यू हिमांशु एंड टीम थैंक यू एकता एंड टीम फॉर सच वंडरफुल पॉइंट्स अमेजिंग दैट वी ऑल गॉट टू नो सम ऑफ दोस वैल्यूएबल important points that were discussed on work from home versus work from office now may i now call upon the valuable judges mr ramki and mr krishnamachari so mr ramki would you like to go first uh, sure the yes, interesting i part... think he can he should do yeah mr krish you want to go no no no, no please go ahead i wanted to say that you should go ahead first <laughs> okay well the interesting part in this format is the judges don't get a chance to talk to each other <laughs> okay so yes. we might have a we might have a interesting ruling okay or whatever <laughs> so bear with us for that no but on a on a on a different note i think it was a beautiful uh, debate or a discussion that generated a lot of interesting points from all the speakers so firstly congratulations to everyone <laughs> a round of applause and um, 
I do want to call out uh, Lal for having created so much energy and passion to being an awesome facilitator and a fantastic timekeeper. Thank you. Okay, sir. apart I'm from his keeping up time. And, <laughs> and then clearly uh, the leaders, the two captains, uh, Ekta and Himanshu. I thought they led the way beautifully. You know, their team and the way they have planned the whole thing. I didn't find any repetition from any of the speakers. It was well orchestrated. So really great job by Ekta and Himanshu. I just want to share a few things, uh, which is uh, you know not going to each of the points on work from home and or work from office. But I think what I found was each of the speakers had done their homework and, you know, referred to a lot of material, surveys, catchphrases, not only in English, but in a couple of other languages. People had their kids come into the picture, some impromptu and some unplanned as well. So it was quite cute and interesting, right? So I love to, I, I, I love to hear that. I, I really enjoyed that. And I also found that Maybe, I don't know if it's the Toastmasters Club or otherwise, but uh, I was so proud that CEOs are also good communicators because once upon a time, there's this, <laughs> you know, image of saying, hey, CEOs perhaps can't communicate or are not the best communicators. But I would say today, chartered accountants are awesome communicators. And you spoke not only from your mind, but a lot from your heart as well. Okay. Very now, happy to hear that. Very happy to hear that, Ramki. Uh, indeed, indeed, indeed. And, and I guess, you know, I, I just want to make a few points, uh, which is to say that work from home, as all of us, had become a new normal because of COVID. So, you know, beyond the point, uh, the, the thing is, it was mandatory, it was compulsory, and we all had to adjust to this whole thing. And I still remember a, a few of the quotations of our CA member, Mr. Mohandas Pai, when he came and addressed us a while ago where he talked about certain types of workers who need to work from office and certain types, and it could suit a few of them. I think he also spoke about IT workers in Bangalore who were struggling to work from home. Uh, and, and he said that for them, maybe work from office is a better deal, whereas people in their 40s and 50s working from home was more convenient. So it's very difficult to literally fit it in a perfect slot. And in a debate, typically, speakers are so passionate and you're trying to push it to the ends of the spectrum and say, this is damn good and this is lousy, or this is damn good and this is lousy. Uh, so, so I guess, you know, at, at this juncture, before I say who I sort of felt were more uh, powerful in the argument, I just want to present a few things which uh, I feel is, is more relevant from today's day and age, okay? Which is, to my mind, we are all searching for binary answers, zero or one, and I think we all know as, as professionals, as, as people who work, the answer lies sometimes in between. And sometimes the answer for the same person could be 60, 40, mm -hmm. 70, 30, 80, 20. Yeah. Certain types of jobs, obviously better done from uh, office, certain types of job better done from home. And sometimes me, I mean, as a, as a consultant these days, I would say work from home, work from office, work from hotel, work from a mountain, work from a beach. Everything has come true, right? I mean, think about it. I think we've all experimented and witnessed work from the kitchen, work from the bathroom, work from your mind. Okay. My boss, Mr. Aditya Puri, used to be a nine to five man in, in Mumbai. And I think his evening walk in Wally Sea Face, he was working on his mind, right? Work from mind. And that proved to be the most powerful in terms of next day, you know, output in the office. So, so really the, the, the whole distinction between work from home and work from office is blurry. And it's helping us in this new gig economy, new age to be flexible, all right? So I guess to, for me, the answer lies in between, but I love the passion. I love the little bit of the critique on the chat box, you know, a little bit of uh, interesting <laughs> comments saying, oh my God, dramatization. So it was great fun. And, and on balance, if you'll allow me, because I'm in this ticklish situation to choose one, I think I would go slightly in favor of work from home, 5149, work from home to work from office. So uh, with all due respect, um, uh, I hope you will accept uh, this as a friendly uh, sort of a, uh, a verdict. And I will leave this to Mr. Krishnamachari to please share his thoughts. Thank you so much, Mr. Ramki, for the valuable congratulations to work from home on one point. Now we'll go forward for the next church, Mr. Okay. Krishnamachari. Well, first of all, I must say congratulate all the team members who have made a very good presentation and a factual at many times, you know, quoted a lot of statistics. What is very favorable, what is not very favorable is another matter of fact. But at the same time, they poured out from the heart. 
I really liked because you know it really tested my own perspective of whether it work from home is work from office which is better. Uh, constantly, trust me, my needle was swinging, really swinging. You know, every argument. You know, this is right, this is right, and this is right. You know, some of the aspects uh, which really, you know, let me talk about one team uh, and then talk about the rest of the team. Finally, I will give my conclusion, whatever. Okay, so the Himanshu team, first of all, started saying that it is not by a choice. It is like, you know, pandemic has put us all in this situation. We have to be here. We have to take care of this. But there is a silver lining. That's what Sveta said. Anurag said, yeah, you know, better health, you know, if we have a relaxed environment, you know, it is okay, all this thing. I'm taking only the key points from each of them, you know, which really impacted me. And the survey, Saloni said, you know, the, a lot of survey have said that work from home is much better in terms of, you know, worldwide it has been accepted by, uh, with fewer interruptions and then, you know, increased productivity and whatever. Uh, Anubha said, you know, work-life balance actually uh, is improved. My doubt on that is, what is really work-life work balance? Because we did bad at work, and then we were misplaced on work-life balance, we suddenly tried to shift over to, uh, you know, we think work from home is a work-life balance. Work-life balance should be both should be really balanced. Okay, so that, but your point was right, work-life balance is something which we are still looking for and uh, we need to uh, go ahead. Okay, Anuba said again, you know, lesser pollution and greener environment. Yes, that's a very valid point. And uh, we, we are, uh, Minakshi said, you know, we are replaceable at work, but not at home. That has always been the case. Uh, what is new in that I didn't know. Okay, that was something, a big question mark in my thought, but she said, Family needs more medical attention. Yes, it has always been there. Nothing new, whether it is work from home or work from office, it is the same. And we face challenges. There are newer opportunities, newer challenges. And Hemansu said one thing very clearly, you know, which really tilted the scale even more uh, towards work from home. He said, break all the traditional thoughts. Okay, you know, no point in thinking about it, this is the way we should uh, work. You know, European starters, you know, uh, the manufacturing, this is where it should be. And then suddenly Japanese said, you know, you know uh, single piece flow. Whereas these people were talking about batch production. And suddenly somebody said, initially nobody accepted it. So these are all the traditional uh, path breaking thoughts which are coming. But is it a choice? Is it happening? Is it possible? So coming to the other side, Okay, you know, uh, Anurag also said, caregivers, you know, have, don't have this. Please, caregivers have to be at home because they are caregivers for patients who are, need to be at home. Okay, so on that count, I cannot agree, but they, that is that is their office rather. Work from home is work from office for them. So these are the good points from our, uh, you know, Himanshu side, which really made me initially when I was going this side, I was really asked to, you know, rather forced to shift to, to work from home side. On the contrary, being generally all accountants are left brain. Yes, we are all more structured, you know, we are thinking like this, you know. So, so I had a lot of points from Ekta's team, which really convinced me. First, first of all, you know, uh, Ekta said we are a social animal. Yes, we are a social animal. We need to interact and, uh, you know, another person also said that, you know, by interaction only we can increase our productivity at work, not by sitting at home. Loneliness is something, you know, which kills, uh, okay? We are sitting, looking at the four walls, you know, repeatedly kills people. So imagine for a moment, if this meeting was held at a particular place, you know, at a location in the city, would we not have enjoyed, made a lot of fun? Mm. Why are we doing this here, you know, remotely? This is not really, you know, giving us any happy uh, ending, okay? So work from home is only a sort of rather compulsion, not a choice. Yes, I agree with, uh, you know, Himanshu on that. It is not, you know, my choice. Yes, okay. So it helps depression the, by meeting, coming out of the home. And then, you know, you, we always, you know, generally... Uh, husband and wife, father, mother, everybody has some sort of a, 
uh, you know friction at home so people try to come to office and then okay they have a change mindset because there are no expectations at work okay your boss has expectations from you that is a different matter so in fact you know i will tell you somebody said the ceo has expectations ekta said right there, rightly we are all talking about uh, my personal thing my comfort my flexibility my time passion i need to take care of my son okay so these are all things which as a parent we all should do but where is the office uh, interest coming into play so where do we think of uh, as somebody else said the does the, do people you know who are on the field have to necessarily be on the field do they have a choice like for workman can you reproduce you know we are all it people or finance people we can sit at home do this you know on the computer and what about people who produce our iphones this computer they have to necessarily come to work right so how will they come if people are not there you know are they going to work you know okay we can replace them with robots yes certainly possible so there will be more joblessness more depression sitting at home is going to be even more killing so actually you know there are a lot of points on this work from office side yes but at the same time what really tilted me towards uh, this uh, side is like you know why are we still traditional can we look, look at a balance like what mr ramki said we always have to you know this is a time this has really forced us to think that can we have a balance between the two those who can work from home yes they because the millennials also expect you know uh, you know flexibility to work from home different flexible office hours they didn't even ask for work from home work from home was an option they said flexible office hours i should be allowed to come at 11 go home at 8 7 or 8 okay that was their expectation so with all this i am also a bit towards uh, 5149 but this time work from office is 51 for me 49 <laughs> is <laughs> uh, okay so i i really in fact if you ask me i can increase to 52 48 but at the same time <laughs> uh, but at the same time i want to see, i want to be rather uh, you know more because i i like the energy level of the himanshu team and a lot of facts i, I i'm really amazed at the uh, homework done by all of you and uh, super super this is a fantastic uh, you know workshop or whatever you want to call it the debate I, i don't think it is a debate it is a workshop sort of a thing which i am also learning a lot of uh, good new uh, topics to work from great thank you so that is my 5149 however you want to switch between mr ramki and myself it's up to the it's team. balance i think yes. you balanced it you said like work life home it has to be balanced and you both yes. balanced it and yeah. i'm yeah. happy yeah. ramki uh, the other yeah. one is uh, yeah. i just wanted to tell the audience that uh, this has not been rehearsed it is absolutely you know impromptu of, of the cup really talk i was even wondering how are we going to have this uh, do we do me and krish get 2 minutes to talk to each other <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah uh, work so, from client office in the morning and work, now debate from work from home in the evening but i guess you know that's the serendipity it's so beautiful right to see a no now you see here there is a dichotomy okay you see had we both sat in one place we yeah. would have said okay i ragi we, we, we try to we try to go one side either i go to his side or he go, comes to me. no because of the independence work from home gives me the independence to think independently <laughs> give my own thought but at the same time we also lose, lose the focus on what is the right thing there is nothing in this world which is right or wrong krish i think we are also qualifying to be diplomats both of us <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, thank you very much thanks and, uh, one more thing krish which you said is because the knowledge series okay this we said part of knowledge series because it's a debate but that also at the end you said like it's, it's a learning for everyone so the purpose of knowledge of series ramki is for that you know ramki is also part of this knowledge series project so why we started it it's a learning so it's a learning for everyone i think uh, you well summarized both the judges and now um, i think as they said they balanced it it's like both work from office and work from home oh, uh, but uh, i i must tell you but i am quite impressed with the himanshu's thought provoking 
a break the tradition but the tradition cannot be broken that easily you still need lot of people almost like uh, you see it people are hardly probably about 7% of the whole world uh, working population not all nurses need to go uh, can i uh, do some nursing sitting from home you can do uh, medical support yes remote medical support is possible but i cannot treat a wound sitting at home so you need a bit of balance uh, quite a large population still are going to work uh, you know india is uh, going to have a, a driverless train soon so so the driver has to work not work from home go home only Okay. Now, uh, thanks everyone. I think we are all in nine six. Sanjay, please. I'll hand over to Sanjay for the vote of thanks for the end of this session. And please stay, stay with us. Yes, Sanjay. I hope Mr. Ramki is not, uh, you know, upset with me for giving a different. Uh, <laughs> no, he is a consultant, and uh, like uh, Deepa yes. Flexi B, I think they are all like you know soothsayer. They would have, they would have foreseen that this. Yes, Ramki, if I am right. uh you'd support my statement you'd have seen okay this situation they have experienced much before this lockdown has started so yeah no, mr krish i would say that i thoroughly enjoyed as you said the quality of the uh, diversity of inputs from various speakers the way it was presented and no repetition that's the beauty right so and at the end of it we both had our uh, thoughts and somewhere i don't think we are swinging this side or that side it's sort of balanced in between So Trust me, I I made notes like this or three yeah. pages. Yeah. And I was running like a scribe, trying to you know match up with, uh, yeah. with what the what these people are saying, yeah. and also marking which is the key thing, key word, and whatever figures they gave. Quite interesting. Thank you. And, very much. I must say, really make us proud. Speakers, and I would also say that the women participation far outnumbers men participation, which is also another big factor. they are really forward they are, they are really well, before the final us. remark can i take one minute uh, yes please guys so i just wanted to say thanks to that committee and the, another point that we all are mature enough right we know what we are doing but just if anyone on behalf of everyone do not get offended by the comments <laughs> on the chat or on the call i know we all are mature enough but just i wanted to put this point on behalf of everyone it was a wonderful uh, wonderful right. evening thank you right Yeah. Before yeah. before Kalas comment, can I say something? Uh, sorry, 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 guys. Please, please, let me allow Sanjay to speak. After that, then we can discuss. Please, yes, Sanjay. Okay, thank no, you, Kalas. For Sanjay to speak today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll start now. So, what a wonderful and innovative event to engage our members on a very frequently asked question nowadays: Are you working from home or office? so every office and their employees accepted a new norms as per the requirement and the flexibility provided by their respective employer now both the teams one led by himanshu on work from home and another uh, led by ekta on the work from office and it, it was very well supported by their respective teams team himanshu which was very well supported by shweta anurag gupta somnath minakshi and anubha they have shared very wonderful points on work from home category similarly team ekta which was well supported by jwalan vishal shrividya anu chitra and kushal some of the interesting points were discussed related to work life balance necessity of discipline whether in on a, a personal space or the work space focus the correlation between bhajia and the budget productivity wardrobe cost family disturbance bonding time with colleagues and etc so these are the few uh, insight we got it regarding the this today's topics thanks to mr lal for energ energizing the event with your smooth moderation thank to ms kala for proposing the event and nishan surana for his tireless effort in coordination and making it success thanks to all our judges mr krish and mr ramki for accepting our request to do a crucial part of judging the event and your experience as wisdom really justified it thank you all and over to you kala yeah uh, thanks like uh, before we start of anything the next event is on january 27 somebody spoke about atmanirbhar i think it is anubhav who said about atmanirbhar gave a different explanation today one of the team member here so the next session on atmanirbhar but this is 
for the India Vision is on January 27th. And February 9th, we have a budget event with High Commission. That invitation also will come. So please block these two uh, dates. Okay, now whoever wants to, it's the, the floor is open. So please, yes, Imanchu, you want to tell something? Uh, I just wanted to say something and Lal has said we can't bring in religion and politics, so I didn't. But uh, we are so blessed that uh, today we are blessed by Ram and Krishna. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. exactly. Very well said. And, and we were able to exhibit our kala. <laughs> Although during the debate, our faces were lal. <laughs> wow. Nice. Wow. But mm -hmm. at the end, we are all together ekta. Wow. wow. Very wow. All the, and all this commentary was given from far away by Sanjay. Sanjay. Yeah. Sanjay. Like good, very, very good. Super. Everyone, super. everyone was kushal in their topics. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, ma. Although, super, super. Although the topic was very vishal. <laughs> good. That's yeah. nice. Good, 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 good. Super. Super. Very nice. Very nice. And it's also good to know, as Ranki said, I always say you know, that the CS, we need to get platform like this where we need to speak, where every member have to come forward and speak. In that way, we are really thankful that so many of you have come forward. Please keep doing that. That's what makes us good speakers. You know, we can develop our leadership skills and communication skills. And thanks for all your participation. So looking forward for the same. Thanks once again, Ekta, Himanshu, Ranki, Krish, Lal, and all the team members. I would like to thank, thank, thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you Bye. all. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Somnath, I got my chai. I saw that. Got <laughs> <laughs> chai? Yes, that I will always say. <laughs> that uh, that will go to see, uh, Somnath's house. Yes, yes everyone's yes. invited. Right? Cha, full copy, Shingada. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.